Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Meredith Mindros. I am a universal healer and a peace visionary. Today I'll be doing a universal astrology message for Aquarius for the month of May 2019. It's still May. Um, so I hope everybody's doing well. Um, for me, I have my Aquarius as my ascendant. And uh, my behavior and attitude with humanity, like my passion serves humanity because you know Aquarius have this kind of like humanity complex, like the planet, Earth, save the world, bring peace, things like that. So that's where, um, if talking about Aquarius, that's where my Aquarius lies as an ascendant in my chart. I hope, like. <clears throat> if you guys are Aquarius too, you know that if you're sun sign, if you're a moon sign, there's all these different traits and characters. But um, if you resonate to this video, that's awesome. We'll wait until the end then for you guys to know. So I'm shuffling this deck again. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I took a time off for at least like 24 hours not thinking about work just kind of like doing a day of reflection because it is my birthday yesterday it's 26 May now <laughs> I actually didn't want to inform anybody but yeah yesterday was my B day so anyway <clears throat> let's see what the card shows Aquarius, May 2019, your cards are the Chariot, you have the Chariot, and then you have ooh, the Magician, and then you have Nine of Wands, and then you have Seven Cups in Reverse, and then you have, oof, you have like some awesome major arcanas here, and then and then you have eight of pentacles. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you have knight of wands. Wait, what was that? Chair, chariot, magician, nine of wands. Seven cups reverse. Eight pentacles reverse. The sun. And nine of wands. I'm getting a picture. I'm definitely getting a picture. I'm gonna pull out some unicorn cards to support these cards. Um, nine of wands. <clears throat> what I can see for now. It's like you've made up your mind and you like this chariot and this wands. It felt like you're moving in a fast pace because you've made up your mind. Because this is a card where I translate it as making up your mind, uh, knowing what is distracting you no longer distracts you, and you're making up your mind and you're going after your happiness because there's the cut of the sun. Is a sun card. I don't know if my voice is sounding a little bit lower tone. Not sure, but I had a very peaceful reflection day. A very moderate, low key, peaceful reflection day. <laughs> okay, let's see what the unicorn says. Trust. 
leap into the unknown, have faith, and move forward, believe you will fly. So the card is trust. So it feels like it feels it feels like you're learning to trust life again. Definitely. Definitely. You're learning to trust life again. You're moving and previously you had this kind of like worry and resistance and um, stagnant and it's showing that you no longer feel like daunted by all these options all these path and choices and you know the decision that you're making is gonna make you happy and you're you're gonna do this you're gonna um, put the efforts to work like you know the struggles but you will do it and you are going to go forwards like see this horse and see this unicorn i think both of these unicorns and horse have trust in leaping forward because look at the horse he's not holding back he's going forward and look at this um horse unicorn trust it's like leaping leaping it's leaping it's knowing, it's like, look, if you look at the cards, the horse in the cart, the eyes, the eye and then the other eye, you will see that they're looking. Maybe they're looking here. Maybe they have focus because they no longer get distracted by all these fancy things. That's the first um, card from the unicorn. And then we have partnership. Teamwork will give you a better result. Find trustworthy people to partner with. Build out a talent to support you. So anything that you feel like you want to manifest or materialize into this planet Earth, you're going to have to build out a talent to support team. Find trustworthy people to work with. You have to build new partnerships. Okay? And then, oof. Prosperity, um, a gift of money is on its way. Your income is increasing. Manage your finances with love. So there's this prosperity. The sun is also equating to happiness, prosperity. And this is where you are learning to maintain your finances because this is a card of um, a man who is working on making his money, making his moolah. Making his bling bling and this card, Unicorn's Prosperity. A gift of money is on its way. Your income is increasing. Manage your finances with love. Yeah. Okay, we pull out the three cards. Um, I think the energy for Aquarius is a very... I think I've been carrying the peaceful energy from Capricorn. Capricorn had a very nice energy. It was very, very the top tier of spiritual inner peace. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to pull out the dragon card and see what the dragons has to say about this reading. But it seems like for Aquarius energy, you are... Last month, I mentioned something like face your demons and something. Let me let me find out. Uh, face your demons and come peace into self. So some of you guys, you may have face your demons. It was a very, it was a very um serious tone that I had for um, Aquarius facing your demons. Okay, we're gonna pull out. Oops, we're gonna pull out the dragons. See what the dragon says. Ooh, air and water dragon helps you to connect to higher frequencies. Trust your intuition. Develop your psychic abilities. Be open to enlightenment and express your inner song. Air and water dragon, and then you got. Fire and Water Dragon enables your life to flow with loving force. So, <clears throat> um, 
I feel like this unicorn card, trust, partnership, and prosperity, it definitely seems like you're allowing your you're allowing your higher spirit to guide you to f to flow into making real connection and to welcome prosperity into your life. Mm. Prepare for change and move forward quickly. So this is move forward quickly. Um, expect the unexpected and have fun. Ooh, have fun. Um, have fun. It balances out with your. Okay, we haven't. I haven't talked a little bit about this yet. Um, have fun. Your inner child will have fun. Last dragon card is Omega Dragon. Heart is the divine feminine power of creation. Intention, hold your vision, birth the higher consciousness. So if you're like um, manifesting something in your life, to create something in your life, hold your vision, birth the higher consciousness. So I feel like this is like focus energy. I feel like the more you focus, the more you bring in what you need. The more you focus, the more you bring in what you need. That's a mantra for me because for the past, like, I don't know, I've been feeling like the more I focus on something that makes me happy, the more I bring it. So as you focus on what makes you happy, so you know when you're really like this, 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 uh, distracted by all the things in your life, but the more you focus on one thing, you actually um, allow it to enter your consciousness and birth it into being. The more you put peace, you pour peace, love, patience, persistence, like this guy, he's not doing this angry, he's doing this diligently, he's doing this um, patiently, calmly, and he's not being distracted by anything. And he's able to then. I'm trying to imagine a story between this and this. Um, this first and then that. Okay, he looks the same. I don't know what's up with me and the tarot. I just feel like the tarot legends are speaking to me because I'm, I'm beginning to pick up um, tarot invisible storylines that that I'm about to show to you right now so this is the guy he is maybe a smith of something and he move forward with the knight of wands this is what he's about to be he's going to be and i don't know if this is a traditional meaning or just my spirit guide or higher self is translating meanings but look at the stark difference of when you focus you will progress until you become real, real, real successful. Really, really, really successful. And all of the faces are the same, almost the same guy. Just this guy has longer hair. And this guy have a mask. You will become a prominent leader that moves mountains. So here comes the energy of the magician. Here comes the energy of the magician. Maybe you receive a counsel from a magician. Maybe you receive healing from a magician or a healer or a shaman. I think so.
I think some of you Aquarius, you tap into the depth of your spirituality and your subconscious and you receive enlightenment, which actually makes sense because some of this card actually said something enlightenment. Um, be open to enlightenment, enlightenment that is inside you. So I think some of you have gone through therapy or have asked help to face your darkness and it's quite easy after that because you realize that it humbles you down and it, it helps you to accept how it's important to understand spirituality, it's important to invite counsel, advice, and guidance. So I think that you are open to receiving guidance and some of you are here. So welcome to this universal astrology message where I share guidance and wisdom because all of these are guidance to some of you who are watching. And if you didn't like the last video um, for April, and maybe you like this one. Okay, we're going to shuffle some more cards. And then we're going to talk about the magician um, and the chariot. It felt like you're having this transformational inner development. It felt like you have this transformational inner development. It feels like the path is clear for you once you realize how all this resistance or this stagnance, you needed some form of a guiding hand to help you look at each one of these obstacles that is daunting you. You needed that guiding hand to help you see the daunting facets of your life. And once you're able to recognize what it truly is, you're no longer distracted by it and you're able to focus on what you really want to commit doing so this is you focusing on what you really want to commit doing and it makes you happy like trusting and having faith that life has something to offer you you know like if you're a farmer and you were left the whole entire farm and then your your whole entire family was maybe kind of like got attacked by the by some you know if this was back in the 15th mid century or something um so if you had left, been left the farm and you have no other relatives and you have so much you're daunted by by responsibilities and you, you have to learn it. You have to learn the keys and the way. And so it's time, it's time that you're actually putting the effort to study technical things or um, like things you do physically, not like ma magician or... Um, like knowledge, not to study occult knowledge, but to study the skills, physical skills that would allow you to embrace a certain aspect of either your career, your life, and Dreams, um, hot moon, and faith, and the void. Um, okay, I'm not too sure why the card hot extremes came out. I think this is more important than hot extremes. Realization. I think that you've come into a realization. When you're in this situation, 
you've come into a realization. This is you before you realize. And maybe, I don't know if this applies to you, but maybe this is you. After you realize that you have incredible insights because you are open to enlightenment. You no longer get distracted by maybes and possibilities and um, properties and superficial fame, reputation, wealth. I don't know why the dragon is there. I don't know why the dragon is here. Um, but some people say that this is the Holy Spirit or the divine channeler. Um, it's like you've transcended the layers of dimension and you're being given this puzzle. And the puzzle is, if you had everything in the world, what will you pick? Will you pick, I don't know what the snake is for, what I know is that this wreath, this wreath or wreath is like um, reputation and this pearls is like wealth and this is like properties because this looks like a castle, a tall tower castle. Um, this is maybe, I don't know what this is actually, inner piece or something. Um, I don't know. Will you seek enlightenment? Ooh. Will you seek enlightenment? Will you seek enlightenment? I think this is a symbolism of enlightenment because this card is talking to me so deeply right now of realization. So I think some of you guys have come into a, can I say humble? Sometimes there are words that should not be said so that other people realize it on their own but i think some of you have realized it some of you have realized the importance of humility um of accepting your ego which is like your ego is this kind of like unnurtured unloved side of your soul where it it has this temper tantrum or or this inner child anger that is controlling your life from an angry inner child being entitled being arrogant i'm not too sure if that's what you are but i'm just reading the energy and being kind of like demanding because not all aquarius are like that um so if it resonates if it, it resonates if it doesn't then just let it um faith so you have trust and and faith in here you have trust and faith so there's definitely a theme where trusting your higher self ooh, 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 ooh. so does that mean that symbolism there is like you, your higher self. Because it's mask, you don't know who it is. It's maybe this is you, your higher self, because you're not really on the ground. You're basically up high. Maybe you're meditating. Maybe you're having this reflect. Maybe that's why I had to take a very reflective day. Yes, uh, yesterday. So, so yeah, I think that's right. I think that, I don't know this card, because this card is extreme, so maybe it res symbolizes kind of like passion, hot moon, sexuality, sensuality. Because, you know, you can see, like, that guy there. And the moon is, like, yellow. So, I feel like between this extremes and the void, um, it really talks about your 
very extreme ego. Maybe some of you guys have extreme egos that you don't realize. And it, you have to come into a realization of it. <laughs> you have to come into a realization of it. I just pulled out this card and I see this card change. Change. Why am I reading? Well, I was shuffling it, but I was having second thoughts about shuffling it. But yeah, okay. So, how many minutes has it been? Okay, so, lastly, lastly, I feel like there's some, um, you know, tarot cards is like cards and then with your intuition or your psychic abilities, you kind of like put the story pieces together. That's how this is happening with me when I do the readings for you guys. Um, and I'm starting to see it, um, I think this is reading number 23 out of this is like the second one that i'm doing this but i've already done like something like this but it's called universal healing forecast but it's only for peace visionary members mm -hmm. but i don't really pull cards i just think about the cards <laughs> when you have abilities you tend to like just use it to your most divine potential. <laughs> okay, we're shuffling this deck. Um, and I'm just thinking about how this come together. I feel like some of the things that you're going to do in your life, you're going to travel as your job. Because the chariot like i feel this i think i feel like this is your passion your passion will enable you to travel because you know aquarius are like humanity aspect like you know greenpeace people who people who are like into greenpeace they take cruise they don't take cruise they on board the ship and then they kind of like take care of the ocean and things like that and then they traverse the ocean world. Higher power. Okay, so definitely, 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 definitely. This is either a higher power in you. Definitely. This is, maybe this is your covered with love aura. Maybe this is like loving the voice of your higher self. And then trusting the voice of your higher self. Knowing that you're safe. I really don't know why that dragon is here and why that head is here, but I'll look it up in the future. Soon. Maybe. Oh, and then you have yin. You have a lot of divine feminine working with you. A lot, because you actually have omega. So omega dragon is... Harness the divine feminine power to creation. And there's a yin energy, there's this softness. Wow, guys. Oh, yeah, love for humanity, right? Love. But most importantly, loving yourself enough. And I'm wearing pink today. I'm wearing pink. So it was like maybe last month's reading was a kick up the butt. And this is a card of flexibility. Flexibility. <laughs> flexibility. Because you know feminine is softness. Uh, like if you're masculine, it's rigidity. So I think that s some of you guys may have unbalanced feminine and masculine energy um, one of the oils that I have is this one for balancing <gasps> this is also pink right this is also pink uh, what's this called uh, trifid nebula I call it trifid because there is a trifid nebula and rose fire emblem 
Aquarius, what is happening to you guys? Because it felt it felt as if that you're you're being evoked into channeling divine feminine, um, to loving the earth. Some of you Aquarius who are unbalanced and have maybe some of you Aquarius hold very powerful positions. Maybe you're okay. I'm just talking the larger aspect. I really don't know who's gonna watch this. Um, some of the Aquarius holds a very strong leadership position, but because of their extreme ego, because if I confer this with uh, last month's video, face your demons and come peace into self, um, maybe some of you guys, maybe you're watching this now, and you're like, wait, I wasn't here before. So let's watch what... The last month's video is about so go ahead watch it but you're probably gonna hate it because it's, it is the harshest tone um, in the reading because I carry energy it's like every time that I do this reading I have to go into kind of like um, like a like a deep sleep not a sleep it's as if that I I morph an energy I'm I'm an earth empath. I'm like a I'm a not a weird one, but I'm like an empath that is extra super trooper sensitive. So I kind of like reflect the energy that you're carrying and then I kind of like use that reflection to see I, I become aware of what I'm feeling, sensing, recognizing, um tuning in and then I kind of like point out what needs change so that's why last month's Aquarius reading for April face your demons and come into in come peace into self it was tough, it was tough. but you have a lot you have to work with um, yin energy you have to work with femininity you have to work with soft energy so that's why you have air and water dragon it's not like earth and fire but didn't you have earth and fire too there's so many cards here oh yes so you have fire and water dragon so you have both elements fire and air combined with water and yin is a water energy yin is a water energy because you know you can see the water in here, you know. You? So you have a lot. You you need a lot of water energy because Aquarius. I think you're the sign with the fish, right? Can't really remember. Darn it. Um. Or the water bearer, <laughs> not the fish. That's why he says you're the water bearer. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, fire and water dragon and air and water dragon so you have a lot of balancing to do with your heart chakra and your divine love chakra pink so um where is that so you you have to connect to a higher channeler and if you cannot connect on your own you have to reach out to people who can um so i think you need to seek a not a hair of it you need a magician you need a shaman please be careful of which shaman you go to because some people are frauds i know i know i call myself healer i don't call myself shaman i call myself healer <laughs> so um this is the magician you need maybe a feminine energy healer to help you but respect that feminine energy healer okay a lot of these people who are so desperate they don't respect the um, provider of healer healing so please don't do more bad things for your karma just if you if you cannot respect a person don't don't introduce yourself to people you can't respect 
because then you're just kind of like being more burden on repercussion karma so this is higher power this is yin and in the middle here is pink so what does that say to you is there some loving and nurturing you have to do for your inner child or is there some forgiveness you need to do for your past mistakes do you need to ask for an apology for the people you've hurt so there has been extreme points in your life where we're not going to delve into it where you personally know maybe you've done the wrong things or you've said the wrong things or you've hurt people you shouldn't hurt or you kind of like you know abuse certain things about people that trusted you so this goes to the other Aquarius this might not resonate to the people who resonate in the beginning because we're flipping the coin now so whichever path it is if you kind of like balance out this feminine bring in more feminine energy bring in more love into your life bring in more flexibility becoming more flexible with your um, choices not being not having rigid choices not being so judgmental and not being so entitled not being so commanding and demanding and like being open to plentifully receive other people's presence rather than just forcing people to accept your projection because some of you guys are coming from ego the void the dark moon some of you guys are coming from ego and you guys are extremely projecting until you don't realize you're projecting so I have a surprise yesterday like for the past three nights I've been like I really need to make um, um, an oil for healing toxic projection for healing um, psychic abuse and toxic projection and to cleanse how how you may have been toxically you may have been bombarded with toxic projection yourself until you become very masculine in the way you project your energy so um and then you don't see when you're being cruel or mean or when you're being selfish or self-centered or self-serving so we're going to take this oil now we're going to apply it so this is the oil that I created for um, neutralizing toxic projection and helping both parties to see self-awareness self-reflection um, so that you know what you're doing wrong you know what other people are doing wrong and you you won't let that kind of like take you apart and you know like only you can be responsible for how you project yourself and if you're an extreme projector so you extremely judge a person and then you don't be flexible with how you see a person because you already think you know them and you assume so much about them and then you you don't take the time to get to know them before you judge and assume and assume the worst about them you're actually projecting who you truly are and a lot of egoistical people don't realize that whenever they insult someone whenever they um demean someone and degrade someone and kind of like put people down they're actually kind of like projecting their own insecurities rather than um building people up so like if you cannot respect people don't disrespect them don't go near them just to disrespect them if you don't like somebody then just kind of like build that barrage barricade and don't let yourself bully people so i think that in some areas of your life you may have judge 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 but then you don't realize the judgment you're judging other people is a reflection of how you judge yourself if you cannot 
share people love, if you cannot share people unconditional love, if you cannot share people wise love, you know, some people distort the meaning of unconditional love, meaning that you just um, let other people, uh, you just, the meaning of unconditional love is even if you're abused, you have to be, love them anyway. But no, that's not the point. That's not the entire wise crack of an idea. So you have to like learn to recognize how when you are projecting, when you're thinking something negative, and that negative thing is attached with an extreme emotion, that's a projection that is toxic. It may it may have been groomed and nurtured by maybe a past experience. Maybe it became a fear. And then whenever you are triggered, you, you judge, judge, judge. But when you are healed, you have this divine connection to feminine. You don't use your past memories as a flaming ember to throw at people. But you're using your past memories if it was healed as a precursor or a compass or a red flag to recognize if it's the same pattern. And you no longer have to judge the whole egg by the cart as bad when one is broken. You don't judge the whole humanity as bad when one person F you up or one person betrayed you or you were raised in a toxic environment. There are good people out there, but your perception needed to change and you needed to connect to the divine source, feminine energy. And you needed an enlightenment for you to help see that you're, you're an active participant of a toxic projection. You may be an active participant of receiving toxic projection. So you have to cut the chain of suffering and negativity by becoming enlightened and self-aware so that you get to come into peace with yourself and that's why last month's video was harsh face your demons face your demons means that you have to look at how you're projecting in your life are you projecting with love or are you projecting with nastiness with a grudge like always throwing flames of amber to people like you know the charcoal when it's hot and when you're doing a barbecue that charcoal under there and it's freaking burning and you're throwing it to people who who doesn't please you doesn't follow your recommendation doesn't mm, want to listen to your advice or listen to your commands because you're entitled and arrogant and always think you're right so you have to learn to be more feminine you have to balance your feminine energy and that's why you have to clear the water element clear the way you think and clear the way you speak and clear the way you feel angry that's what I get from this air water and fire so you have to clear your thoughts your feelings and your Fear. Fire is also fear and negative beliefs. So that you don't bring negative energy into the present so that you can move forward in life um, bringing happiness. And some of you guys have taken the message. And some of you guys have seek counsel or seek healing and seek um, maybe uh, what? like a healer like me or a coach or a psychotherapist or somebody who can get into your brain and study your behavior and find a negative pattern and then help you resolve your internal suffering mode that never seems to end and you're you're working towards you're working towards self oh this could be inner child you're working towards Healing your inner child. Why is everybody healing their inner child? Um, chariot. It's good though. If you guys are healing inner child, that's my specialty. So, 
um, you guys are moving forward knowing and realizing what you need to do now that you have answers from a magician from a uh, from a, a guidance a counsel and I think that um, watching this video you might receive those guidance and counsel from myself and um, it's hard work but it's it's worth it trust oh healing is a teamwork is it there's a partnership yeah so find a healer you trust to help you to feel a spiritual wealth inside which is inner peace and also you know a feeling of prosperity is also inner peace and on the side, you also have money along, like coming along. Because when you feel good, you manifest much more. And that's it. Inner child, unexpected. Because I'm obviously like I did not pick up this as an inner child card. Because looking at all the cards, I'm like, what is the story here? Um. So, last message higher power, yin, divine feminine. So you have to, oh, if you guys want your own copy of this oil, um, just email me. I'll let you know the price and I can't remember the price. I'll let you know the price and um, how much it costs to post. It's quite cheap to post. How much was it? Like, maybe like under, under six to seven dollars USD to post with tracking. So let me know if you want it because it definitely helps. This is a combination of all my other oils. My Sapphire Phoenix Mercury Rising Oil. This oil. And Aura Shield Oil. Which, there's no label on here because this is my backup, backup thingy. Yeah. And it smells real good. Wait, let me smell it again. Mm. This one heals toxic projection in your mind. Because I mean like all of my videos, um, I share through experience and I share through the wisdom I accumulated by going deep inside my subconscious and healing and being a hermit. And like, you know, just mending and taking care of the energy that I want to give out. So yeah, if it interests you to have a divine feminine oil because this balance out your left brain and right brain and also like the energy in like the divine masculine and divine feminine. Um, I'm not sure if this is for sale because I, I, I don't know if I have enough to make. I have one more bottle but that's for me. <laughs> But if you want a sample or something, let me know. This is a toxic projection oil. I can also make it, um, but it'll take time for me to accumulate all the essential oils I used to have. I used to have like like 60 different essential oils in my cabinet. But since I moved, a lot of it has gone. So I'm in the building mode of my essential oils. If you want to... Um, support me in a way you're welcome to uh, make a donation or book a session with me oh yes so if you want to work with me you can um, order a psychic reading or you can um, book a universal healing session and uh, we'll, we'll work on the areas that would help you to become clearer and of course I'll use some of my oils to help you with your healing um, subconsciously like I'll send it from this side so this side of the world um, so mm, so anyway I think that's it I hope everybody's doing well um, and I hope you find the answers you need and I hope you find the guidance the support the counsel the therapy and the healing you need because self-enlightenment is worth it because it's the most precious thing 
because it helps you build um, wisdom and enlightenment so that you carry forth in the future, maybe in different lives. You're preparing for, it's like you're preparing for nicer things to happen, but you know, you also get nice things when you heal because when you heal, you retrieve a light from source and then you get closer to feeling unity, peace to all beings on the universe, oneness, and that's worth it. Especially for you, Aquarius, you have that energy of a water bearer and providing emotional relief, providing it like sanctuary for animals, providing this safety for ocean or um, you know cleanliness of the earth so it's important that you clear your energy and balance out so that you can make a bigger imprint on the planet earth with your passion with your ideas with your values that you want to impress on people to make a change in this world and i know that some of your Aquarius are designated world changer and trailblazers so i hope that you commit to your journey of self-enlightenment and that's it i'll see you in a session if that's what you want and i'll see you next month for your next monthly universal astrology message reading by me i am meredith minors i'm a universal healer and a peace visionary take care i'll see you next time for now bye